I just think, you know, just going to every game, not trying to do too much. Uh, when you try to do too much, it gets you in trouble. Um, you know, and then today, um, I knew that they were wanting to come back out and they're going to try to fight and do everything they could to get a to get a win. And you know, they jumped on us, won a lead. And then, for me, I didn't know exactly what I was going to get, but the guy was throwing change ups and sinker balls away. And you know, just uh, I had some good at bats. Uh, my first at bat, I flew out deep. Felt like from there, you know, the swing felt pretty good. So, um, you know, got some pitches to hit, and uh, just doing whatever it takes to win. You know, hitting wise and. Then, Pitching, you know, arm hanging a little bit, but you just gotta go in and stay tough and throw strikes and do what Coach Bun taught you to do. Um, you know, just for the team, just a good team effort and just trying to come in and throw strikes gets the best chance to win. Uh, well, got a little dicey in the seventh. We uh, they got their momentum going and we talk a lot about momentum and uh, come back up in the bottom of the seventh to get that back. Uh, it's huge and then just series win on the weekends doesn't get any better than that. So. It's a good deal. Well, it was a great win for our guys. Really proud of the start Jimmy Nestle gave us. Just hung in there and hung in there. Obviously, Jared Burton coming in, inheriting two runners in a, in a one run ball game, but one out, and getting us out of that jam and giving us another scoreless inning. Of course, Clinton picking up the save. He just keeps doing what he does. Uh, he's in some rarefied air there with Caleb Moore, so that's uh, it's a good company to be in. But proud of our guys. This is a North Florida team that you just can never get comfortable with. They are such an offensive ball club, and they and they just they just create a lot of discomfort in the dugout. So you know, it was a tough start for Jimmy. Just the fact he's got to keep, you know got to battle and battle and battle, and that's what he did. And uh, you know offensively today, I thought we had some great at bats. We got our sack bunch downs. We executed hit and runs, and we got some big swings. And we're very aggressive on the base pass. And that ended up being a difference. Really proud today of uh, Jordan Sanford. Jordan's just an unbelievable teammate, super young man. Uh, he's been here three years now, works his tail off and practices, and been practicing at a high level. And then, you know, he's one of the guys that's always ready when his name's called. And, uh, you know, this is the second time now he's had to come off the bench and win us a game. And uh, really proud of his at bat today, a two strike double that was just a great swing and uh, really put us over the edge today. So proud of Jordan. And, uh, you know, it's just so good to see kids like that have success. And now just looking forward, you guys got swept at Lipscomb last weekend, but you've bounced back nicely by rattling off uh, three straight wins here. Let's talk about the importance of this finale tomorrow against North Florida. Well, I tell you what, uh, you know, we were in the same situation uh, against Northern Kentucky earlier in the year, and we didn't get it done. They came out and punched us right in the mouth, and we couldn't respond. Uh, again, North Florida's just a, just a good ball club. We're going to have an opportunity to get the sweep tomorrow, but man, we've got to come out and play well and uh, hopefully things will go our way. But it's going to be a tough battle, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a good day to play and our guys will rise to the occasion.